Hey everybody, how we doing? It's me, Joe Salyers, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I'm going to show you Debian 10.2 LXQT version. We all know how great Debian is with its app git and apt package managers. And if you want the newest, latest desktop environment for Debian, it seems that LXQT is your only option. XFCE is still 4.12, I think. GNOME is really far behind with like 328. So if you want the newest, most up-to-date desktop environment, LXQT is your option. My machine here is an i3-7100 with an RX 550. And if you want to put a shot of really good and powerful Debian Linux into an older laptop, LXQT is the way to go. I can't say enough good things about the way Debian did this. Other than not having little bit better options in the window manager and better wallpapers the one thing that debian got right that i didn't see anybody else get right with lxqt is window snapping because it uses the xfc window manager and also that it has a really really great dark mode it lets you use the gtk2 now debian's known for its stability and it's not like it's like arch or something where you're all the time worried maybe an update will break. Debian is super stable. It's been around for years and years and years. So you can't really go wrong with it. It's running Firefox. Now here's one thing I don't like about LXQT. When I go to take the title bar away from Firefox, it has this weird top bar that's stuck to it no matter what you do. So you're kind of just sort of stuck with it. And that I don't really care for, but it's something I can overlook for a, for a really good desktop environment that's lightweight and will run on even low spec hardware. So Debian LXQT is a good option for low spec hardware. Now, I'm going to show you how to get the dark theme inside of Debian LXQT. You go to the LXQT settings, open up the appearance tab, and normally it opens up with Fusion and without the set GTK themes box being enabled. So this is what it sort of looks like out of the box. What you need to do is change the fusion option to GTK2, click the button and set the two themes to add white to dark. Once you've done that, boom, you've got a dark theme. And I don't think Lubuntu has it. I'm sure the Manjaro version doesn't have it, but you could set it in other ways, but it's nice for it to already just be there. Now it would be nice if there were better choice of icons and a few other things, but hey, it's Debian. What do you expect? They're more worried about stability than they are worried about, you know, you getting fancy looking icons. <laughs> but this is the newest version of LXQT. It's 0 0.14.1 and it runs like a dream. I mean, it's snappy, very snappy. You would notice the snappiness of it even on something like a Celeron laptop. But this is running off an NVMe SSD and it runs great. And I can't say enough good things about it. There's also the Synaptic Package Manager, which is Debian's sort of package manager. And it is version 0.84.6. And man, Synaptic's been around for at least 10 years or longer. I can't even remember when it started. Here are the default window manager themes. And there's only just a few i think seven in total and i just go with the default that way it matches with the dark theme and it works also for anyone that doesn't know this is how you change where the minimize maximize and close window buttons are and you can put them on the left if you prefer them over there or in any configuration you like also this desktop environment works in such a way that it will be a little off-putting at first but if you just stick with it for a few days you'll you'll feel right at home with lxqt now it could use some fancying up a little bit but it's okay everything works fine it uses the xfc window manager and it works perfectly fine now you also have this option here which is the environmental variables 
you can actually add certain kinds of dark themes through this i've done it on other distributions but it's nice just having it already in place on the debian version now the one thing i do want to stress is that lxqt is super lightweight it is meant to be super super lightweight and it does everything you want it to do now the only issue i have with basically all linux distributions now i'm not a gamer so i don't game but it seems as though the drivers for the amd cards aren't that great in the kernel and you're going to see that here momentarily as you can see here is how you set up the wi-fi it's kind of convoluted compared to something like lubuntu or even the way manjaro's lxqt does it but it's pretty simple you just open it up and find your wi-fi and turn it on it's turned off by default for some reason i don't know why maybe for security or some other reason debian thought that was a good idea i mean debian is known for being stable compared to all the other distributions out there it's not like you're going to go down some black hole in, of a broken machine by checking out debian it's usually pretty stable and you really have to screw things up for it to to, to break the os and you know it runs really efficiently i am screen recording as you can as you can tell while this video is being made we're going to check out htop and also radeon top here's what i'm talking about about the radeon graphics it's not doing anything it doesn't help the application to hardware accelerate so i'd like to see that changed all right guys and gals that's debian lxqt 10.2 so if you'd like to see more from us here at the music factory and not see those boring old youtube videos in your recommended feed and see something from the music factory click subscribe down below all right guys and gals we'll see you next time have a great day y'all damn it this computer with arch on it's broke again i read the fucking manual by the way i use arch <laughs>